Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Defender, the Object 252U. And this one's located on the south spawn of Serene Coast and is under the command of Bulba Kramer. Now, the Defender, it's got a 122mm gun, 440 Alpha, and well, battle has started, but he's not moving and his barrel's not moving. Um. What's going on? Well, maybe he's not woken up yet. I saw movement to the barrel. Yes, he is awake. And we're off. Okay. Now, this is a tier 8 premium Soviet heavy. And, uh, well, some of you have uh, got it. Um, other will have the uh, Object 252U with just the plain markings. I actually prefer that one because uh, it's less likely to be immediately spotted as an enemy tank or as an enemy defender and so it attracts less attention okay well he's going around the corner oh taking a wide route and he's headed for the peninsula as is the scorpion g and well we've got a target over there straight away it was an amx 65 ton he was spotted for a moment and i saw a tree go down and there's a Lurva. We've lost the 65 ton. Definitely saw somebody up there. There's a mutant there. Oh! The Lorraine's driven into us. And he's lost some hit points. So I think that's um, no chance of us getting a high caliber now. Because uh, after you've done team damage, you can't get one. We well, shouldn't be able to get one. I think that's the rule. Well, he has been seen by the enemy. There's that mutant. What else is there? There's the lever. Now the lever's only got a 105mm gun, but it does have a rather nice bouncy turret, which is uh, pretty difficult to penetrate. Because it's very rounded. Okay. Mutants at the back. There's a Pajetto over there as well. Goes around the corner. Fires one into the lever, into his side. And gets a nice pen for 461, which is a high roll. That's a fair amount of damage going on here. He's going to try and get the kill on the Lurva. He's turned around, though. Oh, he took a round from Progetto and from the 65 ton. So that was not good. But they both fire, which enables the T-34 to move forward and claim the kill on the Lurva. But I think uh, Bulba spotted something that the others haven't. He's been watching his minimap and he sees that the enemy tanks are very close to our cap in force. And so I think he's going to return as quickly as he can. And he's passing this Scorpion on the way. And I think the Scorpion's wondering, why is the Defender disengaging from the Peninsula? Well, for very good reason. We're about to lose our cap. Now the reload time for this gun, 12.38 seconds, is actually quite long. Uh, it's normally quite a bit longer than that actually. <laughs> so I think it's around 14 to 15 seconds for the standard reload. So he has got the uh, time down. But uh, yeah, this is going to be difficult because it's quite a big force that he's facing. Which way is he going to go? Okay, well, he's going to go through the same pass that he came down through. I don't think he minds those trees being knocked down. The enemy doesn't have RT in this game, so he's going to be safe from RT fire, but not from tank fire. Okay, Jagdpanther 2 up ahead. Oh, and yeah, he was low on hit points, so he's been taken out. Uh, M41 Walker Bulldog, or the Bulldog. One round's enough to put him out of the game. And we bounced around from the Hawk. Okay, wait for the reload using the wreck. It's a good idea to do that. Keep yourself concealed. You're not going to get any enemy shots while you're using the wrecks. Oh, and there's a 50 TP, but he's opted to go for the Hawk and puts a round into him for 401. Made the Hawk a one shot. Pulls back behind the wreck for cover. That 50 TP is a nasty character. It's a premium Polish tank. And, oh, no, he didn't get a shot there. 
Don't really want to wait for the hot turret on the 50 TP. You want to go for that lower plate if you can. The trouble is that the defender doesn't have very good gun depression, 75 degrees, and if you're coming over a rise like that, the gun's not particularly pointed in the right direction. It's actually pointing up in the sky when you want to be pointing down. So you want to pull back just a bit, that's it. Pull back just a bit. Side of the turret's okay. I'll have that. And it's a low roll for 430. And he's now got a Pershing for company. Well, that's good news. Let's see if he can use his gun as well. Go for the low plate. Yes, he got that one. It's a high roll. 484. That's useful. On the pushing, it's not going to be much help if he keeps doing that. He's poking his side out. And the 50 TP will take advantage. Oh, he's badly angled. Very badly angled. We missed our shot. But I'm sure the 50 TP won't miss his shot in that Pershing with his angle like that. Yep, look at that. Massive loss of hit points below the Pershing. You've got to angle your tank better. Oh, and that one didn't penetrate through the lower plate. And that Pershing's going to get wiped out if he keeps doing that. Yeah, he's... Unfortunately, he's a bit of a noob. He doesn't know how to angle and he's going to get wiped out. There's the round we put through earlier. And we got another one in. But it's a low roll, 407. Uh, Pershing a better stick behind that wreck like glue, because otherwise he's going to be a wreck himself. Now, can Bulba get the kill? Well, he tracks him. Puts one through the track, but the Pershing's doing it again. Making himself a target. And he's not going to survive very long if he keeps angling like that. Oh, dear me. And the 50 TP takes him out, but Bulba gets the 50 TP in return. Now, there's only two left on his team, the T32 and Bulba. But there are five enemies. Now, somewhere is a Progetto. Or is it... Um, no, it's a Pantera. And I think Bulba thinks he's the other side round. He's somebody in the cap anyway. He's going to try and sneak round this side. He's looked... No, can't see him that. Oh, the Pantera's behind us! Oh, Bulba suddenly spotted it. And the Pantera's pumping rounds into the rear of the T-32. It does mean that he's hit reload. And, yeah, one shot's enough for him. So, he's now facing four opponents. He's on for a collar battle if he can get it. He was facing five opponents. And, oh, Batch at 12 ton. This is bad news. He puts one into us. And we're taking rounds from the Pajetto. Oh, we're taking three rounds. 686 hit points lost. We're down to 244. Pajetto's low on hit points. And he's a ram kill. And we got the ram kill. And the AMX 65 ton. Well, unfortunately, the Pajetto's taken away so many hit points. We've only got 52. But we bounced around from the 65. We're reloading APCR. Now we need it. And we need to get that gun depression down. Okay, here comes the 65 time. Oh, he's given us a shot right into his lower plate. What a fool. He actually gave us that shot. Oh, we just bounced around from the mutant. But he's low on hit points as well. He's a one shot. This is it for the game. Yes! And he's won it. And the steel wall. That was some game there by Bulba Kramer. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Oh, well, it's a first class tanker for Bulba Kramer in the Object 252U Defender. He got a duelist badge and a fire for effect out of the minor medals, but he did get the medal that everyone would like to get, the Kolobanov. He stood alone against five enemy tanks and took them out one by one. Uh, they didn't all come at him once <laughs> at the same time. They should have, but they didn't, and that was their big mistake. And as a result, obviously, he's He's won, and he's won decently as well with a win eight of 4,784, which is Super Unicum standard. He also picked up a Spartan medal because he bounced rounds from that 65 ton and from the mutant uh, towards the end. Uh, two rounds he bounced whilst he had less than 10% of his own hit points left. A Steel Wolf for blocking the most damage in the game. And he got that with the last shot by the mutant that was actually deflected. And he also picked up a Top Gun for getting at least six kills. He ended on seven. Let's have a look at team score.
Well, yes, he did get the highest damage. He's right at the top of the table. 3,431 hit points, but he doesn't get the high caliber. And the reason? Yep, he accidentally ran into that Lorraine 40 ton right at the start of the game. And that denied him the high caliber. He would have got it, but he doesn't get it because he did team damage. And a lot of that has to go down to, I think, to the 40 ton because he just deliberately, well, not deliberately, but he, he did accidentally drive into Bulba. Uh, and he could see that the defender was there, but, you know, just very bad driving. Um, Bulba did get the highest number of kills. He got seven. And the next highest score was only two, so it's less than one third. And when it came to base XP, well, he really aced that one. 1,333 base experience points, 994 for the T34 and 881 for the Tiger 2. He fired 16 rounds in that game, got 14 direct hits and 11 penetrations, damage of 3,431 hit points, and all of it was at close range. He received 11 hits during that game, Five were penetrations, six non-penetrations, and two of those penetrations came on the peninsula. One was from the 65 ton, the other from the Progetto. Uh, the others came from the Progetto later as well that certainly helped uh, especially considering when they came right at the end from both the 65 ton and from the mutant he blocked damage of 1450 hit points unfortunately he did do those 12 hit points of damage to the Lorraine and that cost him a high caliber and he damaged nine of the enemy killed seven of them and uh, on the credit side, earned 98,177 credits, paid 174 credits to the Lorraine 40 ton, and that left him with 98,003. And after repair and ammunition resupply, and yes, he did have to use some premium rounds during that game, he still walked away with a profit balance of 44,653 credits. So it was a very profitable game for him as well. He received 34 bonds in that game. I think he completed one of the missions, probably the Veni Vidi Vici medal for the day and he also picked up 1999 XP uh, times two for the first victory 200 because this is a premium vehicle and took away 4199 experience points altogether he calls this an easy collar ban off well there's not many easy collar battles in the game normally they involve staying alive at the end of an assault game and being the last one alive um, on the defending team but in this case, he did very well indeed. It wasn't easy. It was difficult because he had to kill all his opponents to get that collar ban off. But he did it very coolly. And luckily, the enemy were, well, they were basically Muppets because they came at him one at a time. And if they'd all come at the same time, he would have been able to handle them all. And he would have been out of the game fairly quickly. So uh, well done there, Bulba Kramer. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. We get great replays like this all the time. We'd love for you to come back and watch something really great by one of the Unicums who sends us uh, replays. And uh, thanks for watching this video.